What's up everyone? So I just watched the Bora City Magazine video and then they just uploaded another one. Do K-pop concepts even make sense? In my opinion, I feel like they're pretty cool. You know, the fact that sometimes every comeback, they use a different concept. I feel like makes it feel fresh and new. BTS has been doing it their whole career and it's worked. So, you know, I think concepts are a good thing because, you know, if, if a K-pop group just sticks to one single concept their whole career, it might be considered like maybe a little boring. I, I know there are a lot of bands that do that and it's worked, so it, it can work. But I feel like in the K-pop industry, everyone is used to concepts. It lets the artists try out new genres, new choreographies, you know, outfits, hairstyles. I think concepts are a good thing, but let's see what Bora City has to say. There is a popular clip of Beyonce that resurfaces on the internet every year because many say it reflects where the music industry is heading to. People don't make albums anymore. They don't make albums. They just try to sell a bunch of little quick singles and they burn well, that out is true. and they put out a new one and they burn out and they put out a new one. People don't even listen to a body of work anymore. I think people are so brainwashed. You get up in the morning, you click on the computer, you see all these pictures and all you think of Doom is the scrolling. picture and the image that yeah, it's like a worldwide problem, doom scrolling. We're just scrolling on our phones too much. You see all day, every day, and you don't see the human form. In a technical sense, artists do make albums still. They release a collection of songs under one name. Oh, what they Beyonce do? is referring to is a lack of bodies of work with a story, a message, or an intention. The artist needs to have something to say, and the album is how that something is delivered. But nowadays, True. artists put out single after single and then put them all together on an album that has no story, no intention, and no correlation between the songs. Because yeah. many popular albums today are not made with the intention to be a body of work, they don't have any concrete concept. So I think it's because the artists have realized that most people don't care. They just want a catchy song, which honestly, in my opinion, is fine. You know, music is all about the sound, enjoying so i've always thought that you know the artist writing important lyrics and all that it doesn't affect if i listen to an artist or not honestly i just i just uh see if i like the song that's it but when we talk about music and albums a concept is simply what an album is about it's the theme concepts are a good thing in general because it gives a thesis statement to your album even if it's a very simple one a concept is concrete it has a message and a purpose now a long time ago i said that i wanted to make a video about concepts in k-pop and some Ooh, of the comments i received said something that caught my attention bts doesn't have concepts they have messages i what? still see comments like this to this day i got this one what? only a couple of bro they they've literally gone through like many concepts Nothing wrong with that. Of days ago, this made me think in how different the word concept is used in K-pop and in non-K-pop conversations. Oh, so it's different. Concept means something similar to what I just talked about, but it's not discussed in the same way. In K-pop, the word concept has been kind of diminished, and I argue that this has affected the artistic progress and ambitions of many K-pop singers. So to not confuse the two definitions, I will be using the words K-pop concept to refer the to the image, picture, visuals, and concept to refer to what Beyonce talked about, the theme of a body of work okay so it's like two different concepts in k-pop world and outside beyonce her latest album's concept would be country music not because the genre of the album is country but because she has something to say about the history of country music this album has the purpose of showcasing the limitations black country artists go through despite the genre having african-american roots it's more than just the sound and the cowboy outfits for example in this album beyonce made a cover of the beatles song blackbird this oh. is not originally a country song but it still follows the album's concept because the Beatles wrote it about the racial tensions in the southern United States. Yeah, it's all a message. Version features black country artists and in this context this folk song by a white British band perfectly fits the album. It follows the concept. This is different to a country singer releasing a country album with the concept of for example the teenage perspective on relationships. The concept is not necessarily the aesthetics or the sound. When it comes to this country album the concept is not country. The concept is something 
something else. With that premise, I can identify multiple concepts throughout BTS. Oh yeah, there's been a lot. The concept of their school trilogy school. is school. Not because they are wearing school uniforms, but because they are singing about the education system in South Korea, the pressure Korean students go through, and even yes, how students experience important. romantic relationships. A school is not just the aesthetic, it's the concept. A more recent example... And you know, if you need it to be more obvious, they were wearing school uniforms. Paul Ezer album B. The concept of this album the is pandemic. the pandemic. With each of these songs from beginning to end, BTS tells their experiences and thoughts during the pandemic. How their lives changed, how they quarantined, their fears and frustrations, a sudden glimpse of hope, their new connection as a group, their new mindset as a group, their new connection with their fans, and finally, a happy, hopeful sentiment. BTS there always does a this. variety of sounds and a variety of visuals, but everything has to do with their pandemic experience. Another example is the concept of their Map of the Soul albums. Mm -hmm. The concept was based on the book Young's Map of the Soul about Jungian psychology. In other words, the concept of BTS's Map of the Soul is one's persona, shadow, and ego. This brings out a bunch of different aesthetics and sounds, but the concept remains persona, shadow, and ego. You can apply this to every song of the album. Boy With Love's concept is persona or social mask, not pink or femininity. Those are the aesthetics. Black Swan's concept is shadow or interferes not the theater or contemporary dance Those this is what i like about bts right they could show one thing with the visuals while the meaning is like another or the setting and Something the style deeper. of dance on's concept is not and i repeat is not marching band on's <laughs> concept is ego or self-protection as you can see what hmm. k-pop i didn't know that actually as the concept are the superficial elements the colors the makeup the outfits the setting Outside of K-pop, all of these elements are important parts of the concept as well. But they have a motive. A good conceptual album, for example, would have a story or a message about having everything pink. With the BTS, aesthetics yeah. are not pink for the sake of being pink. But when it comes to K-pop concepts, the aesthetics represent the obvious. Pink is a romantic concept, and dark colors are a badass concept. There's usually nothing more to that. This is why I think it's hard for some armies to see self-love as a concept. By really? my opinion, that is the concept of the love. You know, the I actually have a tattoo of the the Love Yourself logo because, you know, the songs there, especially Love Yourself, they just they they actually helped me a lot. Yourself trilogy. These albums explain a very detailed and well thought out description of the idea that to love someone else, you have to love yourself first. It's a simple message, but BTS's explanation is not. Each part and each song explains the journey to self acceptance and self love, from romance to heartbreak. They're good to the albums, real good. That you need to accept and love yourself first. This trilogy has everything a good concept could have a story, a message, and the aesthetics that reflect the concept. But in an industry that does not treat concepts seriously, it's not surprising to see labels turn the love yourself concept into a K pop concept. That means repeating the aesthetics and the title of the concept without necessarily coming to that conclusion themselves. There's no real story to understand or message to analyze. Yeah, I mean, I feel like outside of the K-pop world, people have this, con this conception. Well, I guess it's not wrong, but they have the idea that, oh, you know what, K-pop artists, they're just manufactured. They just do what the company wants, which is the case for a lot of groups. But there are, there are a lot of good ones, you know, that actually care about their craft. K-pop con concepts. The part conversation two. by K-pop fans and even K-pop singers surrounding concepts is very interesting. For example, the first result when I search for K-pop concepts is this thread about Ooh. concepts fans want to see more. And Stopia, dark side of the industry. A BTS did that already. Full on carnival, social message, quirky city pop. Or there's a lot of things you could do. The one starting the conversation mentions the concept of social message. I can assure you that before BTS, no one recognized social message as a concept, but now it's a thing. Because BTS became globally popular with their Love Yourself trilogy, this became a popular K-pop concept. Now, a lot of Western listeners say that everyone sings about loving yourself, and this is not unique to BTS, and that is 100% correct. But because having a social message that the singer cares about expressing is not a common thing in K-pop, BTS's Love Yourself concept became so a that novelty. Was new? It became a new, interesting aesthetic to replicate. BTS Especially created since it came the the Love Yourself concept. They are the biggest 
you know banned k-pop group in the world so it's not surprising that they start trends and all that attention in western countries it was only after bts released their globally popular love yourself trilogy that k-pop groups suddenly all started singing about loving yourself they even used the words love yourself in english which they never did before just so everyone could understand that they are following this specific bts trend after BTS finished their trilogy of Love Yourself albums, the Love Yourself K-pop concept died. The trend oh, is did? over. Just they like don't this do it example, anymore? many K-pop concepts come and go. But there is a list of concepts that every K-pop fan may recognize. Some that don't need explanation are the cute concept and the sexy concept. The girl crush or badass concept is the opposite of cute. You know it's what's, what's weird? You know, I, I see that K-pop getting a lot of hate because sometimes they use sexy concepts. With like minors, I think it happened a lot with the Seraphim because they got Unche, which is weird. Yeah, I, I agree that it's weird. Concept and the sexy concept. The girl crush or badass concept is the opposite of cute. It's considered more edgy and cooler. There's also the retro concept, which nods to the past. The teen crush concept, which is directed at teens, and the most recent revival of the Y2K concept, which nods to the early 2000s. As you can see, the approach to these K-pop concepts is related to what's visual, superficial, and obvious. Most, if not all, conversations by K-pop stands about concepts have to do with what they want to see, not what they want their favorite artists to address. I previously brought up the example of BTS's school concept because at that time they were a powerless group and the easiest targets of harmful accusations. BTS were accused of copying the school concept of another group. When that what? group never released an actual school concept, BTS simply wore school uniforms like every other Korean group does at some point. The difference is that BTS's school uniforms were a reflection of their actual concept. I had a BTS literally sang about the education system and being a student. They made a music video about it. Groups, <laughs> the school uniforms are an outfit and the school is a setting, but they don't even mention school in their lyrics. They are doing the K-pop concept of school, not BTS's concept of school. K-pop concepts are more visual. Fans want to see their favorite K-pop group look like their high school crush, so they want to see them act cute in a school uniform. Fans want to see their favorite K-pop singers wear dark outfits while dancing a cool choreography, so they want to see the girl crush or badass concept. To realize this, you just need to look at the way K-pop fans talk about concepts. In this same thread, it was mentioned that they wanted to see more the concept of nightlife, because one girl did it and they liked it. But that song has nothing Nothing to do with nightlife. Nightlife is just the setting for the music video. That is not a concept, it's an aesthetic. This is my point. K-pop fans tend to not take K-pop concepts seriously because there's an extensive record of no real connection, message, or story with most of these songs. So yeah. It all yeah, I'm sure there are some groups that are kind of frustrated because they don't have an option, but you know, the company makes the final decision obviously became common to not look for a real concept because there is usually none. In the K-pop world, concepts mean something else. The word and its implications have been simplified. When asked what concept they want to see more, K-pop fans think about the type of outfits a group has not worn before. They think about the persona a group has not performed as yet. Something if new? a group has been acting cute for too long, fans want to see them look and act badass or sexy Yeah, I think that's once. a good thing. But the question is, what is a K-pop group concept you'd like to see done? One answer says, whatever this boy group was doing with those medieval Robes. That is not a concept, but I guess in K-pop it is. Either there's no message or K-pop fans don't care when there's actually one. When the conversation is yeah, about concepts care. that K-pop groups have not tried yet, someone comments. My dream girl group would be one where each member is a fantasy race. Elf, fairy, mermaid, demon, vampire. Could be like an enchanted forest hmm. vibe or something darker like a cursed forest. I mean, honestly, not a bad idea, a little fantasy theme. This may be an interesting idea, but what would be the actual concept of that aesthetic? If a singer came up with a story that brings out those looks, that would be cool. But that is not the conversation. This conversation is about the outfits and makeup they want to see a K-pop group wear. The visuals are first, the sound second, and the story is not even mentioned. But concepts are about the message or story first. This is what brings out the aesthetics. 
what used to be a very popular K-pop concept was the weird concept. Mm. Now K-pop fans miss it and want to see it again. But what they want is the singer wearing weird outfits in a weird setting, singing to a weird tune. That's oh, that is weird. the entire conversation. This is different to how non-K-pop fandoms talk about the artists doing weird concepts. For example, music listeners refer to Rosalia's Motomami, most of Charlie XCX discography, and Camila Cabello's recent rebrand during conversations about artists doing weird concepts. But these examples are all stories that present themselves in a weird way. Again, the artists' I mean, that thoughts, is pretty their weird. personalities, their ideas, and the stories they want to tell lead the aesthetic. There is a thought process behind these projects. Yes, the aesthetics are a part of the concept, but that's only one part. Actually, there's a huge conversation about Camila Cabello doing this concept genuinely or not. Many argue she's just following a trendy aesthetic. These are the types of debates surrounding concepts. But when it comes to K-pop concepts, this conversation most likely wouldn't take place. Yeah, concepts are normal in K-pop. I believe most of these fan conversations are a reflection of how K-pop singers treat their own concepts. It's very rare to see K-pop groups explaining the concept of their albums because there is usually nothing to explain, or they are so detached from their own projects that they don't even know what they're singing about. Tell me the story behind the record. Um, I mean, I guess it's like, it goes for like whatever, like the listener if you decide to hear it this so way, there is you none. Hear it this way, and if you kind of change the story up, it could be whatever you can um, put your mind to it. Are you embodying somebody else's words? Are you adding your own words to it? Wow, that, that's kind of embarrassing. Yeah, like our pro producer <laughs> you always gets to get yeah. the like the best. I mean, all they had to say was like, "Nah, it's just a fun album that we made, so people can." Dance, have fun, you know, it something like that. Yeah. Wow, they're, you guys they're lying. To produce your own music, write your own records. Um, <laughs> so far, we've kind of gone with. Bro, it's um, an interviewer, man. Really Read the room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. He did read the room. Whether it's a complicated or simple concept, the artist should be able to explain what they mean by what they are singing, even if the concept is having fun. The artist should have concrete experiences, examples, and reasons why they came up with a having fun concept. And even if you don't create your own concept, you're supposed to identify with it, or at least give it your own color, your point of view anything. Sometimes artists find a demo they identify with and works perfect on them. But if you don't even have that choice, of course I'm going to notice how detached you are from your own music. This wow. is why when K-pop oh, singers city. are actually connected to their songs, Talking they are not scared to explain. They are excited to talk about their concepts. You can easily tell when this is the case. You made that song, Aura. Oh, I made it. We can't <laughs> be confident about that because I think, you know, in K-pop, they are hardly, you know, female songwriter you know can write their songs by themselves and we have three of us you know we can that write songs by ourselves we can you know express like what we want to say we want the message that we want really want to deliver to the audience so i think it's a really good point this k-pop singer for example made a video rating her own discography and i find it interesting that the only project she gave a 10 out of 10 was the concept she and her oh. group members came up with while her so. least favorite concepts were the ones given to them Helicopter. I guess that means that the artists do feel proud when they create their own uh, album and concept. Up there, a 10 out of 10 concept grade, the best one so far because we were the one who thought of the concept. The artist's Ooh. connection or lack of connection to their work is noticeable. So if most K-pop groups are this detached from their music, how can K-pop fans care? Fans talk about what they notice. If they notice visuals but no message or interest from the singer, then they'll focus on visuals only. Compare this to the way BTS talks non-stop about their work. Even when there were not many people listening, Suga made detailed explanations of uh -huh. each song of each album released. Now that's, BTS that's cool. has more elaborate documentary or multi-part series about the creation and concept of their albums. BTS were also the first K-pop artists interviewed by the Grammy Museum, and the Ooh. interviewer asked them about their conceptual albums. Since these concepts well, are lot. so personal to BTS, they could give concrete explanations of how the concepts of their albums reflect their personal lives. 
I remember watching the interviews when BTS first entered the American music industry. Most interviews were superficial and generic because that's American how most interviews. interviews are. But when yeah. they were asked about their albums, they would get so excited. Especially when the interviewer cared, BTS would talk non-stop about their songs. Sometimes they talked so much that they had to cut the interviews short. <laughs> you know, Zach. <laughs> I mean, they got so many albums they could talk about. So it sounds really similar. So, I mean, like, I'm getting wrapped up. I could talk to you guys for so much longer. I'm very aware. You don't need to scream. K pop performers cannot always do the same that was because a little weird. music does not always reflect who they are, what they think, or even what they like. As many K pop singers now admit, it's very common for them to not like their own concepts because they have no creative control over their own music. Although the conversations surrounding concepts has improved a little in recent years, the K-pop industry and fans continue celebrating the same five popular K-pop concepts. The conversation <laughs> about K-pop performers and fans continues being this simplistic. So it's not a surprise that although BTS gave a lot of visibility to the entire K-pop industry, the general public simply cannot get attached. It's too much of the same again and again. This is why I believe it all starts with the reaction of K-pop fandoms. BTS took their own concepts very seriously from the very beginning, so ARMY took BTS's concepts yep. seriously that helped too. Them out. ARMY sometimes wonders about what this, kind of aesthetics BTS... You know, there's a lot of popular K-pop groups, but one thing I feel like helped BTS is that knowing that they care so much about their music, that they actually write and produce it, I feel like it makes army want to keep supporting them whereas with other groups maybe they have a face or like oh look they made a cool album but then like the next album maybe the fan didn't really like it so they just didn't listen to it and then maybe they just kind of grew out from the group but with bts they make you want to stay in the fandom so it just keeps keeps growing and growing BTS's concepts seriously too. ARMY sometimes wonders about what kind of aesthetics BTS is doing next, but most times ARMY debates about their next message or story, about their next real concept. What are they thinking right now? What are they experiencing as artists and as normal people? Or even, what are they reading or watching in media? Jimin, for example, came up with the concept for Like Crazy after watching the movie Like Crazy. So he sings about a fictional love story, but he understands and is somehow connected to this story, even if he didn't leave it exactly as portrayed. The BTS mm -hmm. members are not always their own stylists, they are not always their own music directors, but they do come up or identify with their artistic concepts. Suga had an accident that changed his entire life and created the most heartbreaking alter ego story. RM so it really is amazing. Fall, and then wrote South Korea's second anthem. Those are the concepts I care about. BTS knows what they want to say, they compose what they want to say, and they perform what they want to say. Even when That's it's right. a coping mechanism like Dynamite, Dynamite, it's their coping mechanism. It's their destruction to the world. They know why they are releasing their songs, and they have no problem explaining why they are releasing their songs. If it's a very meaningful and complicated concept, they explain it wholeheartedly. If it's a concept just for fun, they say it's just for fun. There's no shame in their explanation because they know the exact reasons why they release what they release. Exactly. Those are well done, purposeful concepts. K pop concepts can be so pretty to look at and fun to recreate but there's nothing else worth analyzing behind that like i said this is okay sometimes i love listening to fun meaningless music as well but i do find this practice a disservice to the talented performers who after training for years may yeah. want to be taken seriously someday when concepts are more about an kind of feel bad for them. a theme with a genuine message, it will be harder to connect with music listeners. But it all starts with liking your own music first, so you can stop being so scared to talk about it. BTS never avoided explaining their concepts, and the excitement of their explanations made their audience follow their lead. I That's hope right. other artists in the industry do as well. I mean, it's gonna be hard to oppose the company interesting so a video about concepts and how they have kind of just become superficial which is true very common for a k-pop group to 
you know, just make music that the company decides. The company decides what concept they will be doing, the, the music and the lyrics that they will be singing. But like I said, they do it and it works because pe people don't care. Most people, they just wanna have fun with, with their music. They don't care about if the artist wrote the lyrics. But hey, when there is an artist or group that does write their own music and think about their concepts, then I mean, a lot of respect to those. Although I think it is pretty sad that there are probably a lot of like artists and groups that do write their music, you know, put a lot of love and care into what they're singing and people just don't care. You know, that, that's gotta be a little bit heartbreaking and it probably happens a lot but i guess that's just the music industry now of course we know that when it comes to bts they do put a lot of meaning behind their albums which is why they're so popular so as a conclusion i said this already but in my opinion i don't think it's wrong to to only listen to an artist just because of the song yeah and to not care about if they write their lyrics that's that's just my opinion i know there's a lot of people that maybe do care that's fine everyone is different and they can enjoy the things they want to however they want but yeah that was the video i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching